My name is Dr. Dawn Ewing. I'm the Executive Director of the International Academy of Biological Dentistry and Medicine, and welcome to Biological Bites. Today we're talking about homeopathy and dentistry. If you need more information about a biological dentist, go to our website, iabdm.org. Homeopathy is a form of energy healing that allows your body to heal itself. Homeopathy is also known as frequency medicine. If my husband and I walk into a restaurant and we hear a particular song playing, we'll probably lean over and give each other a little peck on the cheek, squeeze each other's hand, because that song is something that resonates with us and it elicits a response. You and your husband or your spouse walk into the restaurant with us and it does nothing for you. You don't even know that music's being played. That's an example of how a homeopathic remedy can elicit a response. Homeopathic remedies are derived from substances like plants, minerals, or animals. The substance is diluted in liquid repeatedly and vigorously shaken, which is called succussion. Because these remedies are so very dilute, they are extremely safe. How is a remedy made? One drop of the mother tincture is mixed with nine drops of either alcohol or water, and then the mixture is succussed. This is a 1x potency. When we're looking at a C potency, we'll take one part of the mother tincture and put it in 99 parts of water, and then we'll succuss it. In order to make a 2C, we'll take a part of the 1C and mix it with 99 parts of water. You can see how it gets more dilute each time. When we're looking at the lower potencies, they are faster acting, but they don't seem to last as long, so you have to use them more often. The higher potencies are slower to respond, but they last longer. When you're dispensing these remedies, you'll want to place it in the mouth. Ideally, you would put it under the tongue and let it dissolve if it's a pellet or a tablet. The liquids can be swished in the mouth before swallowing. The frequency depends on the potency of the remedy. Remember those lower potencies, they work faster, but they don't last as long, so you'll have to take it more often. Whereas the higher potencies, you may only be taking it once a day. Here's a word of caution. If you're working with a homeopath, the dosing should be strictly followed as they prescribe. For preoperative care in a dental office, Arnica, Hypericum, and Apis are musts to have in the office. The Arnica is great for bruising and swelling and for the pain. The Hypericum is good for the trauma of nerve endings and the Apis is really good for inflammation. Postoperatively, we still see the Arnica and Hypericum, but now we've added two new remedies, one that's really good for postoperative bleeding and one that is good to reduce the risk of infection after surgery. For abscesses, you may consider things like Belladonna or Byronia or Hepersulfate, Meristica, Pulsatilla, Pyrogenium, and Cilicia. For apprehension of the dental patient, Consider things like aconite or calicarb or coffea cruda, chamomile, nux vomica, and pulsatilla again. There are three great remedies for bruxism. One is belladonna, the other is podophyllum, and tuberculinum. Thanks for listening to our Biological Bites for today. Again, go to our website, www.iabdm.org.